Hey, what's good everyone? This is my last day in Vegas for my birthday week out here. I'm gonna try to go three for three with my poker vlogs. I'm gonna go play at Resorts World for one three, max buying 400 bucks. But here's the catch. I got two hours until I need to call an Uber and catch my flight. So I'm probably gonna play pretty aggressive, probably gonna punt off half my stack like usual. <laughs> All right, let's get it. Wish me luck. I belong, I belong to you. All right, back at Resorts World, playing 1-3, and I've got two hours to play before catching my Uber and my flight. I start off by straddling $6 under the gun, the button raises to $15, and everyone else folds. I look down at 8-9 offsuit, and just for 9 more dollars, why not? Let's try and make some money and pay my Uber driver. I make the call and we go heads up to a flop. The flop is a pretty good one. Jack 7 8 all clubs, and I got middle pair and a straight flush draw. I check and the button bets out $20. I make the quick call and the turn is a 3 diamonds, which shouldn't have changed much. I check again and he bets out $45 this time. I'm not going anywhere with my straight flush draw. He could be betting here with a hand like Ace King with the Ace of Clubs in his hand. Maybe he has an over pair and just trying to protect his hand. I make the call and the river is the queen of diamonds. This time, I lead out for $100 just trying to put any pressure on one pair holdings. I do have a couple of blockers to a straight and a flush and a straight flush draw. And then my opponent's snap goes all in. Damn, don't like seeing that. Even though it's just barely more, like $50 more, I make the quick fold and my opponent shows Pocket kings, and he didn't even have the king of clubs, he had the king of spade. Alright, non-believer, huh? First hand in, and I already put off half my stack. <laughs> Looks like I'm walking to the airport. Maybe I could hitchhike a ride. Not how I want to start off my session. <laughs> Alright, let's try to make this comeback. A whole orbit goes around, which is just a few hands because we're playing shorthanded. There's a $6 strat on the button, and here at Resorts World, how their straddle works is, first action is under the gun. I look down at pocket 8's under the gun and raise it to $16. Two players call and we go three ways to a flop. The flop is a pretty good one. 8, 7, ace with two hearts and I flop middle set. No way someone has pocket aces because they would have raised me pre-flop. First action's on me and I check hoping someone bets but they both check back. The turn's the 7 of spades and I decide to check again because I feel like if I let out here, it will look pretty strong. My plan is to check raise any bet, and I'm hoping someone just hit that 7 on the turn. The player to my left bets $25. Thank goodness. The button calls, and then I raise it to $75. The player to my left snap folds, and then the button announces all in for $175, and I couldn't flick in my chip fast enough. The river is the 5 of spades, and my opponent shows King 7 for 3 of a kind. I show my full house and we're good. Much needed double up. What a great turn card for me. He definitely couldn't put me on full house, especially since I literally just bluffed half my stack to the same guy just a few hands ago. Alright, looks like I'm not hitchhiking to no airport. Hell no. Well, let's not speak too soon. Yet. Still down just a little bit before picking up pocket kings under the gun and raise it to $16. Time to come up. And what do you know? They all fold one by one. Mother <laughs> The very next hand. The hijack raises it to $13. The small blind calls. And then I look down at the boys, a a Ron and 3 bet it to $53. Wow. Premium back to back. I feel like Drake right now. Only the hijack calls and we go heads up to a flop. The flop is 8 king 9 with 2 diamonds. I see bet for $40 and he quickly folds. Eh, bummer but I'll take it. 
the very next hand, and I'm still stacking up my chips. Three players limp in, and I'll call blind in the small blind, and we go five ways to a flop. I also check in the dark. The flop is eight ace four all off suit. Action checks through, and the turn is a three of clubs. I check again. I still haven't looked at my hand. I'm just too focused stacking up my chips. And honestly, with the pot being so small, I really just didn't care at the time and just having fun. The middle position bets out $10 and everyone else folds. When action's back on me, I look down at ace-10 offsuit and I got top pair. Okay, okay, not too bad. I just make the call and we go heads up to a river. The river is the jack of diamonds and I check again. He bets out real small, $15 and I just make the quick call. He shows seven nine of clubs and bricked his flush draw. I guess I could have raised on turn and got more value from my aces, but oh wells, I'll take down the small pot. All right, counting the last hour before I got a call on Uber and catch my flight. A couple players limp in and I look down at queen jack of clubs in the big blind and raise it to $18. Only the cutoff calls and we go heads up to a flop. The flop is not too bad. Queen six king with two hearts and I got middle pair. First action's on me and I see bet for $15 and he quickly makes the call. The turn pairs the board with another king which I actually think is a good card for me. Makes it a lot less likely he has a king. So I bet out $25 and he makes the call again. When he calls again, I'm putting him on a flush draw or maybe a weak king like king 10 or king 9. The river is a scare card. The five of hearts now bringing in the front door flush. I check and he bets out $50. This player has not gotten out of line all session and this looks like a value bet to me. If he had a king, would he bet for value on a paired board and a flush draw? I don't know about a 1-3 game. Maybe. I tank for about 30 seconds before letting it go. My opponent shows 10 jack offsuit for a brick straight draw and the bluff. I like it. I like it. Nice bluff, sir. I'm in the small blind and one player limps in and I look down at queen five of hearts and make the call. The big blind then raises it to $14. Under the gun calls and I make the call as well and we go three ways to a flop. The flop is king, king, queen, all off suit. Not bad, I got two pair. Action checks through and the turn's another queen now giving me a full house. I check again being out of position and surprisingly action checks through. Okay, they either slow playing a king or they really have nothing here. The river is the four of diamonds and I lead out for $30, trying to target an ace for an ace high hero call. Well, that doesn't happen. The big blind raises it to $70. One player folds and then when it gets back to me, this is never a bluff. And this player has been playing pretty tight this last hour. But just for 40 more dollars, how do I ever fold a full house? I just gotta pay him off. I even tell him, your king is good, but I gotta donate to ya. I call knowing I'm never good here. And yup, what do you know? He shows king queen for a flop full house and didn't even need the turn. Uh, no comment, <laughs> moving on. Last interesting hand of the night, and I'm down about $150. Well, at least I have some money left over from my Uber. Five players limp in, and I look down at ace queen of clubs and raise it to $28. Only one player calls, and we go heads up to a flop. The flop is a good one. Five nine queen with two spades, and I flop top top. First action's on me, and I see bet for $20, just as I would if I had ace king here. He makes the call and the turn is a nine of diamonds, which looks like a scare card because it pairs the board, but he shouldn't have a nine in his range here. I lead out again, this time for $50. And he makes a quick call again. The river is a 10 of diamonds and I felt like he was putting me on a hand like ace king or a missed flush draw. And I've been the only one bluffing at the table the last two hours for the most part. So I go for max value and rip it all in for $106 he snap calls. Uh oh, that's never a good sign. What the hell is he snapping me off with? My ace queen should be good here. He put in his chips so fast, he makes fast people not look fast. <laughs> if that even makes sense. I show my ace queen, and then he asks how much is in my stack 
he throws in $106 towards my way and mucks. Yas, much needed double up. And I actually got unstuck for the session. Forget the Uber. I'm ordering me a damn limo to the airport, baby. And just like that, I rack up my chips and go three for three my poker vlogs in Vegas, baby. Let's go. Alright, just got done with the session. Three for three, baby. I was in for the game for 400 and out for 418. So it came up $18. I'll definitely take it. I mean, I put it off half my stack less than two minutes within the session. I don't know why I keep doing this, but you know, like I said, I'll take it. I'll take a W. But now I gotta go hop on my Uber and catch my airplane. So thanks for watching and Hit that like and subscribe button for me. Come on, give me some birthday love. Bye. Thanks again for watching and see you on the river in Vegas, baby.